mean that either the old guys or whoever they are that was weaving it may have uh, looked away and maybe he was talking as he was going. Oh. And they've actually crossed these over yeah, these right. strands, and then uh, as it goes up a bit further, they crossed it back down over again. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, oh, you know, maybe just to balance it out. Yeah, a kid maybe there mucking up and something. Yeah. Like that. Can I ask, um, if you were to see it in a museum, how would you actually like to look at it, like? If it's would like, you like hanging to see in exhibition? Underneath oh. it or in front of it? Like, yeah, how would, you know, be the best way yeah. to actually um, view it for a maker anyway? Yeah, I suppose. It does. They need, I reckon they need to look at on the inside as well. So. Mm. Really? If you got, so don't lower. have it too high. Yeah. And, um, and well, that's the way it's hanging on, your, on the back of your, your head. Mm. But, if you got it like that, and you know they can see on the inside, okay, because there's just as much inside as what they can see outside. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. Yeah. yeah. And keep it empty, not like this one which has yeah. stuffing. Yeah. Yeah. Empty, so ah, well, it, well, because that one is is always on its side, it's going to collapse anyway. After mm -hmm. you know, like, so you got to have that thing on its side. But I suppose if you had it hanging up like that like that maybe it wouldn't collapse in because they you know like i say and you're you're gonna miss a lot if you're not looking inside mm. Mm. and that's i do that a lot when i go to museum i always have a look inside because um, i can i can count straight away i count how many rows he does before he he weaves the ribs onto it, mm -hmm. so because a lot of them are all different, and and I'm always picking up the technique. So, uh, what did he do here? What did he do there? And, uh, Is that quite a small one? This one? Yeah. yeah, it's pretty small. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because some of them are really big, aren't they? The, with the painted designs on them. What are they? Some of the baskets are yes. really big. That style yeah, of basket yeah, yeah. are really yeah. enormous. Yes, yeah. yes. And is it only um, the black bean? Or is there a, a Yeah, there, there, that yeah no, there's it? The, um, the walnut. There's about a couple of different varieties yeah. of walnut. And the cycads. Right, cycads, things that are a bit toxic. Yeah, they're different. very, very poisonous. You wouldn't eat them straight up? No, you can't. No. Yeah. It'll kill you. And you'd fill the whole thing with them? Yeah. <laughs> so... Or what, mash them up first, or just... Well, just you get the cycad, or, or the black and bean, and, and you you, uh, you roast it on the, on the coals, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, about an hour on the coal, until you know they're, you know, but you don't sort of... Uh, you burn it in their skin, so it's not... Um, not burned or anything. Um, you scrape it. Well, they used to scrape it with a shell, but you know, you get a grater and you grate them all, and it's a bit like a mushy porridge thing. Um, so you you fill that up. So you, you, what would normally happen is they line it with a leaf, a big broad leaf, candle nut leaf. Really? Okay. And. Um, Pack it in there, or if if the if the um, the porridge isn't if the basket is very fine, then you don't need the thing. Mm. <laughs> you could think, but the water water has to be just a slight movement, not not rushing. Oh, okay. uh, it just has to be gently flowing through it, mm. <coughs> like oh. it's seeping in. My I saw my auntie just. Uh, direct a little bit of water just to drip down on the top, and um, it's it's just small, it's small really bit just running. Just yeah, and it just yeah, cut long as it it's dripping through, running through the whole thing. And it takes yeah. about you know like 48 hours or something. Mm -hmm. All depend on how how well you cook the the uh, the, uh, the bean or the seed. 
you taste it first and if there's still a bit of bitterness in the taste, <laughs> the poison's still there. Yeah, it's like but after, you know, if this if it's just a bland taste, nothing mm. there, mm. well then it's good. Mm. But it's like an acquired taste too, you know, you, right. you, you probably get a uh, some taste in your in your mouth after you eat it, like uh, something bit like a, it's an aftertaste sort of thing. They, we normally have it with honey, thing like that. Mm. But Does it put the, it in the fire though to make like a bread, or it's you that like the porridge? No, no, we just ate it like that. Oh, so right. As far as I remember, I didn't. I, I've never seen a made of uh, bread or anything. Like that. Right. You made it into a flour. Because it's already cooked, mm. you know, you already roasted it and you've leaked the poison out. Oh right, yeah, when you're yeah. preparing it, you're already cooked it. So, you, could, you eat it moist when the water's still in it. Mm. So, because it's, you know, it's very, th it's a very, uh, uh, well, it's like a ground up, cashew or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's that real woody sort of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Because, but it's a seed. Mm -hmm. uh, I always imagine it's a bit like macadamia texture. Yeah, so yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah. But the uh, the energy you get out of it is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. yes. wow. We were able to get the inner side out of that one. Did you want to have a look yeah. at that one? Yeah. So we'll do a separate one for this one. Well, this one, Nerva Driver. Mm. Noagi. The, the weaving is uh, I do a wrong weaving. I do it wrong. Um, the weaving I do is twirling the the two strands of uh, fiber around each other. But the, the way they do them here is is uh, weft. It was well, really woven. It's it's <laughs> intertwining. Not but not not twisting over one another the 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 inside is always facing inside and the outside is always facing out outside okay. for some reason I just only found that out when I went to the uh, the, the, the games cook yeah had a look at the day and I asked him to have a look at it, I said, I'm, I'm doing it wrong. But that's after years of, you know, you've got to, it's years of learning. And what's that material on that one, if that's the lawyer cane? This may be, uh, usually is lamandra. Okay, yeah. The grass that grows, you know, around the riverside and all that, because it's a long grass and it's, Easily used, we split it up. So yeah, and very fine. Is that all you got here now? Apart from the one in the museum we saw, which we can go back. Uh, yeah. Unless you want to look at baskets from other places. Which might be. Uh, same area. Uh, the Gitama people, the Gitabal, the, the Kulnga, and uh, uh, and the Nawagi people basically shared the same artifact. And when you look at uh, the Nawagi shield there, uh, I always maintain not not not. Uh, that those those design like that generally came from up uh, the Tully River and the Murray River area, mm -hmm. 
because when you look at some of the photographs we have in our uh, keeping place at our uh, art center, mm -hmm. the the uh, the Nawagi people, the Herbert River shield marking, they got there different to what they, mm -hmm. but that there is, is uh, what is uh, got marked as either Gitame in the Tully River or the Murray River, mm -hmm. where I come from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as I was saying, those those spike marks, the 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 story behind that. And they've both got them on them too, don't they? Yeah, they got them. Very that. likely the same. Yeah. Location. If you if you if if a Gulnay person from the Tully River came in here, he'll say, "Those are my marking there as well." <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> mm. Are you allowed to talk about what they represent, those? Yes, uh, they they represent breast, a woman's breast. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's that's what it is. They normally come in, in pairs. Oh, yeah, so together. Yeah. Yeah, so they come in pairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're also in pairs in the other one there. Yeah. So there, here. Yeah, that's the general rule that they always together. Mm. They're always even numbered. What about that teacher's college one? Yeah. So again, so this is this is um, came from the education department here, and it has this very old label with it, which said uh, made by women. Um, Something River, Carpentaria, oh, Mitchell right. River. Mitchell River. That, we would love to hear your opinion on that because that is all the information we have. It's strange, you know, those it's people don't that. even know some, you know, how, how fine some of the artifacts yeah, are. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah. You'd think they'd have some sort of little spinning wheel or something. I know, <laughs> I know. Instead of somebody's yeah. leg or... <laughs> because the, yeah, the, because the, the strands are so uniform and they're just size perfect, aren't and all they? that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a bit of different size there, but you look at it. You're welcome to take your glove off and touch it if you want to have a yes, feel. okay. And, then, and again, I think it looks like the same technique here. Yeah, just with the different They line twine. them all up and they string them all together. Mm. And then they, the way they go, mm. on their way yeah. all the way up. So this probably came into the university around the 1920s. Wow. So it could be much earlier than that, I guess. Yeah. Like it could be, well, as old as, who knows? Yeah. 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 There are other stuff in that region as the fire stick. That, that different fire sticks to what you're using around cardboard, aren't they? Yeah, but uh, how? Where are they? This one up at the top here. Yeah, in front of you. I don't have any. Oh, this one here. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's mainly uh, coranda. Oh, that's cans. Right. We've got a really long one in the spear section, though, too. Yeah, right. Should we? I can try to get that out. I'll have a look. Yeah. So I recognize the red jubilee beans on it. All right. Wow, you that would have done some damage. I know, and also the. Would you have to get hit over the head? You looked at the ones in um in the gallery. Yes. With the nails in them, replicating this. Sort of <laughs> strategy. <laughs> yes, it would have hurt. Oh, really? Probably would have dispatched you, I think. Yeah. You said your goodbyes. Yeah. This is much the same style as, oh, not as what we used to, but it was mainly in this style here that's how we used to make out. So is this is missing, uh, is that missing like a. Yeah. Oh, is that it? 
that probably one oh nine four. Yeah. So this is the piece that's come off. Uh, this is how we used to make them like this. So more sort of a uniform. Yeah. Yeah, but really, yeah, it went yeah. the same. So where were people using those? This is a spear thrower. Yeah, but I don't know. I guess I always sort of think of a very rainforested place where maybe spears yeah. were not as useful as some other. Way. I don't know. Well, I'm, we got it's a yeah, genuine well, question. We got good sized creeks there and river and all that. Oh, so fish and or? fish, fishes. A lot of the mullet comes up mm. seasonal mm. time. Mm. So you see a mullet. Oh, you know, water. Water can be up to my waist. Yeah. 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 So we've also got the kangaroo there too, remember? Yeah, do you want to have a look at it? Yeah, I'll try it. It's probably like what, when you, we, um, they could easily see it and not touch it. You know, yes, and it sort of indicates, uh, you know, yeah, it's very it, important, it, yes. is it? Don't forget to put your stick back in there. If it's yeah. <laughs> And if it gets worse. Like with ours, the, it made into that shape of that a little human sort of thing, a spirit yeah. thing that um, it's a warning for the like kids, you don't pack that or you don't play with it. So we're interested to show you this. It's always a source of a little bit of mystery. Yeah. Um, it's interesting because we find whether this is maybe Yeah. What do you think about that? Because Where did actually, that come from? Well, <laughs> we don't necessarily know. It's, um, I can look up the information, but it's always been a bit of a mystery. And people have, I think people have assumed in the past it was a bit of a tourist thing, but we're yeah. not 100% sure because you this does look like that it's been used as a fire used stick. As a fire stick. Yeah. Have you ever seen anything like that before? No. Sort of You've got information on it. Uh, we, I will go and find out yeah. what we've got. 8525. I'll go and find yeah, out. That's going to be interesting. My recall is that we don't have a lot of information. Oh, right? that's okay. Do we have collected it? I reckon it must be one of our more might have made it. It sort of has that. Because you know, it has this here. Yeah. 